Say, old chap, what are you drinking tonight? Well, I have my silver ice hanging dinner on the wet down in Manhattan. Me too. <laughs> Want to skip ads without hurting my inner child? Head over to patreon.com slash cmc and help fund the show. Welcome to Call the Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schoen. We're going to eat and we get curd. And Ian Jr. And, 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 and Ian Jr. That's, Ian that's Jr. a process of, of, of penis and um, vagina. No, just penis what? and mouth. Um, so... Don't you talk to my It's an inside like joke. What you need to do is go on Friday nights, <laughs> watch the live 6 30 Eastern Daylight Time. That's GMT minus four, which I found as GMT plus one in UK for those in the UK. Um, that's where our live stream is. And you can watch all this stuff and then something. happen live. It's and, like behind the and scenes. And you'll understand why everybody's making fun of Curtis's lemon. So this is the Manhattan. <laughs> this is my one of my favorite drinks and the really? variants of the Manhattan. I love Manhattans. Oh wow, okay. That's, and I love variants. Like the green I love point. learning new things about people I didn't know like five minutes ago. Like he likes Manhattans. Never knew this. I love We've Manhattans. never made Manhattan out of here since um, I where my phone I was went. Kind of uh, I have like 14,000 views or something on our last Manhattan. What did I, is that what I said? 14,000? Yeah, something like that. It's nowhere near um, as had, many as we have on our fishbowl cocktail. No. Um, <laughs> it, or Vinique. So yeah. it was Doug and Don. Yeah, Vinique's the second best, isn't it? It's, it is. No. I mean, come, for this year, it's the first best. Yeah. But overall, it's got ways to go to catch up with some of the old ones. Is it better than my, my Scotch one? Yeah. Uh, well, your Scotch one's got a couple of years baked on it. So just to boil down the recipe here, boil we got two ounces, of rye, two ounces of rye, an ounce of sweet vermouth, a couple of ashes of mango. We're going to start with some ice, and we're going to pour it into a chilled glass, garnish with one zardo. So, I don't, and I don't not all rye right whiskeys are equal. Can, so what do you mean? They're all, they're all awesome. Okay, no, they're not all awesome. I'm just you, you're going to get a different here. Manhattan via yep. each. Via? E, e, Go ahead. Yeah, okay. So like, if you've got like a three-ingredient drink, the better the... Uh, the better, better the vermouth, the better the Manhattan, the better the rye whiskey, the better the Manhattan. And goes always going to be the same. Nothing's really going to change. I tend to go, uh, if I'm at a bar, I'll usually work uh, Manhattan with Makers. Just because every bar seems to have it. Do they, 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 don't, they don't kick well, you in the nuts the other, They don't kick me in the nuts for because it's not a rye. Is the Woodford? You should, you is the Woodford? Should, that's a bourbon. That's it's a not bourbon. a rye. No, no, but where's the bitters at? Oh, Woodford. Yeah. Cherry bourbon? Yeah. You can't add those now. Yeah, but if you are looking for something really yes. cool, you using these awesome. for your Manhattans is amazing. I was thinking about that when I saw that sitting yeah. on your table. Oh, I love today. these. And you, I almost picked them up from your store because you carry those at Austin Drinks, I right? I did. Yeah. Yep, I just got a new stock. Actually, this, we sold out. So was, people bought them all. So I, I They're like, out of control. They're tasty. Then. They're tasty. Yeah. So I oh, I didn't know if you, you saw this. Did you see that um, I did not. Salsa and a couple of the bean, the bean products are making their own bitters now? No. What are they calling them? Salsa bitters? bitters? Yeah. Oh. No, I, I did not know that. You're getting into that market, huh? Yeah. Dude, la the last couple weeks, it was actually like last week, I had three bitters companies and a ton of company all find me all at once. Like the same day. Like all, I'm like, oh, I want, what? like what happened? Where did Awesome Drinks all of a sudden show up on everybody's radars on a Monday? Like why is that all of a sudden a thing? Because somebody went to work. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, that's weird. What am I going to do on a Monday? Oh, that's what I'm going to do. So how do you want to do this cherry? Just hand me the spoon. You're just gonna dump it right in there. I'm gonna dump it. He's gonna lay it in. It's gonna sit right at the bottom. I'm gonna, gonna put it right there. Depth. And I'm gonna the drop field. it. Boom. Now what you could have done, I didn't want to do this because I thought it might damage the the drink. No. But we have bourbon cherries from uh, Jack Rudy. Jack Rudy. Yeah, yeah, those are good. I just felt like the bourbon cherry would 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 distract from the rye because it it it's a bourbon cherry. It tastes like a bourbon cherry. Yep. That's weird. Weird noise is coming up. Is that so our noise? So do you want to, no. okay. before we throw this in our mouth holes, do you want to throw oh. some history behind this? Oh, you saw that, right? Do you already know this all or should you want me to? Well, no, you can read it through. But this is, uh, just for reference point, this is all Wondrich, which means that if Wondrich said it, it's fucking right. So I don't want to hear any bullshit. So it's from the old Manhattan Club, 1874. Yep. Um, so it's a harmony of bitters against the sweet vermouth. So those are your, your components against the rye. Because... Uh, a rye has a different flavor than a bourbon. Bourbon, from what I understand from reading what Wonder said, is it's kind of a sweeter uh, product and a spirit, and it, it changes the the way that this tastes. And having the musky flavor of the rye paired against the sweet vermouth and the bitters gives it a very unique flavor that, by adding bourbon as Ian did, is not really creating the Manhattan as it, as it would have been in 1874. Yep. Ian probably wasn't looking. He didn't say, "I want a 1980. I want, I want an 1874 man." And he's just like, "Dude, I just want to drink with like a mayor." Yeah, Let's I think everybody it. does them differently. Yep. Right. Um, so it might be too sweet, but it might not be. Enough. But the basics are two to one. 
your, your rye or your bourbon well, or the, whatever you might I, I've heard this one of my one of my bartenders taught me that it's two one uh two one two because that's the old area code for Manhattan. <laughs> two one two dash is a bit uh-huh. angle. Two one two. Um and, and the other thing that, that he had mentioned is that rye and you had said this not too long ago, was rye is kinda on it was on its way out where like it was like going extinct. Yep. And then all of a sudden there was this resurgence and everybody's like rye, it's a thing. And yep. like all these companies came out with rye. So you this mean drink or back then? No, no, recently, like yeah, yeah. within the last ten years. So I think it was ten years, right? Around there. No, uh, no. So within that amount of time, it was kind of like the Manhattan, as it was known, was fading away. Like some of the recipes we can't make anymore, and we by having rye back, you're able to now create a recipe that was probably closer, depending on how the rye is compared to historical pre-prohibition rye. Growing up, rye I only is. ever knew of one reference in pop culture to rye. Uh, oh, the the, song, the, right? the limerick that goes with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bye bye, Miss mm. American Pie. A little uh, Not my Chevy too. The levee, but the levee was dry. Just, the good old boys are drinking whiskey. Give me the name. Rye. It's, uh, it's American Pie. Don, Don McLean. Don yeah. McLean. That's what I was. Yeah. It's the really, lyric, he he just auctioned off those lyrics for like one and a half. Oh, I heard dollars. that. Yeah, yeah. Has he explained what every one of the lines means? Well, he had like oh, fourteen pages of lyrics and notes on yep. different all right. formats and everything. I've read like I've done a lot of research just on that song on all what it's every great. phrase means because that like, all means something. The great classic American ballad. Yeah, yeah it's great. It's, yeah. What an amazing song! Like there's parts of the Beatles, Bob Dylan, uh, Rolling Stones. Like there's a there's a piece of history within every one of the lines. Really cool. Well, if there's if there's a like quintessential cocktail that really sums up pre-prohibition cocktails and like what Jerry Thomas did and what all the other bartenders in New York were doing. The uh, you know, the uh, the Savoy and just like those really institutional pre-prohibition you know uh, watering holes, this drink, the Martini, are like really what I find is the fundamental. Would it have been the Martinez back then, or the Martini? No, still? the Martini. It would have been Martini or Martinez. Martini. It would have been Martini. Yep. When this was around. Yep. Because this has a lot of the. Here, it's got a lot of the Because when was the Martinez? Properties. We did that cocktail at one point. That was the Martinez long. was the precursor of the Martinez. Martini. Well, we, we there's a lot of Martinez. like, there's it's a lot of fuzziness. If you read through Wondrich on the situation, it's it's not as easy mm-hmm. as just saying, like, this is this, this is that. Mm-hmm. No. no, it was, uh, we took it from, um, what's the book? DeGroff? Yeah, we got yeah. it from Dale. De- he had both. DeGroff is the same, too. I mean, he... He had both recipes, yeah. so we did both in the show at the yeah. same time. They yeah. kind of, it, one was Old Tom and one wasn't. Yeah. Um, it was Martinez sweet, was really not good. Sweet, yeah. Yeah. It was a good drink. Yeah. This drink has the, mar- has like that martini quality, but I like it better because it's got like a, a little bit more of a rich... The oakiness, you get the sweetness. Yeah, it's, it's got a little it, bit of a different type it's of... It's not super just dry. spirit. Because you have the the vi in there, you have the vermouth, yeah. which kind of softens it up a little bit compared to. And like that cherry, really there's a lot of people that fight the cherry that they say that cherry. that cherry's not supposed to be there versus like the what? Because it ruins. Well, oh, it's that that same thing that a martini when you drop an um, pickled olive. olive, that it ruins it. But the um, the fact for me is, I think that that little itty bit of sweetness that you get from that cherry juice helps out a little bit. I think so too. Yeah, I just want to eat a cherry at the end. I, yeah. I, I love it. thirteen minutes. Time. Wait, eight. eight minutes. I, uh, I, I'm even a fan of like a little bit of ju- juice in there too because I like the ch- I like cherries and I like how I like the cherry it as the plays part. with the oakiness of the bourbon. Okay, guys, question of the day. You have one already, or do I have to look? More well, do you get anything from the fans? Okay, so question of the day from a <laughs> philosophy standpoint. <laughs> Here, look at Manhattan is either awful or uh, I haven't had one. Probably or I haven't made. had one probably made. It's probably the second. Okay. Um... If you could have all your material possessions, like, given to you genie style, just, like, pff, all material possessions, but no. you could never be in love, or you could find true love and be poor the rest of your life, which direction would you go? I don't know. I'd almost be rich, because uh, true love is Guys are always going to want material possessions. True love with all that financial strain in today's market isn't going to last. <laughs> it wouldn't be true love ever. It wouldn't be true love. Okay, what about this? I think what I'd if- go to the true love. She's a girl. Girls um, are always gonna yeah. pick girl true love. Guys and she already found her, so it's easy. To... <laughs> but you know what it is. But look at me. Like, Why would I think so. What's your answer? True uh, love. Uh, you're, you're yeah, but we go back. <laughs> See, you're looking at like true love. He's I'm putting him on the spot. <laughs> if you have true love, then the money doesn't matter. So right. sure. Who needs to eat? <laughs> well, the, you can always find. Yeah, what's a roof over You can forest for nuts and berries and some mushrooms. There's people that you can kill squirrels. I think. Nah, okay. What about, this? What about this? What about this? Apartment, which you got about money. <laughs> what if I said I Not want? If the, they don't catch it. I want the material possessions, and then when I realize it's kind of boring, 
then switch it. <laughs> no, no, you get the one right low. Bam. Well, it's, it's obvious now because, like, I mean, the kids are still kind of learning this. But if you don't have anything, you can still find things that exactly you don't. That's it. Doesn't really it doesn't really matter that. And the and the funny part is like when shit breaks and things just break down, you're like, oh whatever, just get it. Well, well people the, are people are in this position where like they constantly want more and they don't realize how good they have it right now. I don't need anything. I've realized that. I've he simplified doesn't. my life a lot. I really don't care. I about learned that when I was in college. Yeah, but you're from Maine. Oh. Like, you know, you should start that way. Like, oh. I mean, they're like... Yeah, but there's something to be said about that Vermont, Maine mentality of, like, less Realism? is more. Yeah. I, I really, I feel like that was the best takeaway that I got from college. Mm. They're like, I really don't need as much as I think I do. Yeah, I don't think I... <laughs> we don't need as Love much as... Love doesn't pay the rent. I just want <laughs> internet. <laughs> uh, Everything else is not... secondary. I mean, you, yeah. you can really. De- hey, if you have internet, you can program. You can do all sorts of stuff. My, like, stuff like for instance, there. my kids have a like all these toys that they never play with because they have like a tablet and they're good with that. Like the, you can, you don't need to have a million things to be able to do. You can have one thing you actually care about. Yeah. And and the and the parents did like my grandparents. They'll buy all kinds of random shit. I'm like, stop buying random shit that just goes nowhere. <laughs> they play video games or they do this or Brianna crafts, buy craft stuff. Don't go, oh, how about a pony? No! Like, <laughs> there you go. I think Arthur found the loophole. True love from a rich woman. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> loophole. Well, you give I, up all your possessions, but you can marry into them. <laughs> I just want to be a king in some country. Is that a problem? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. problem is that's the country's like, problem. You've got, like, yeah. you've got like North Korea or some shit, right? All right. All right. Okay. We're done. Ready? Get your coupe glasses at awesomedrinks.com. You can do that if you Don't want to. Don't forget your uh, your stirring glasses, your and jewel you strainers, and your kick-ass bar spoons and Luxardo cherries. And your what, what's cherries. this? Don't sell that bullshit. We need a real jewel strainer. Oh, I didn't and your that. Ian Juniors. And your, you can't get no! those. Awesome drinks. You can get those at your local grocery store, hopefully. <laughs> and if, if you can't, you need them. to move. <laughs> We're just gonna drink! We don't even need the lime. You know, he wants to smile. He's, he's guarding it's, it's an the Easter egg. Well, it's I been in it. your balls and been in my mouth, so. It's our child now. <laughs> <laughs>